What's going on YouTube? So, got another knife review for you. This is going to be a one year review because I bought this knife a little over a year ago. Uh, so let's get into that right now. All right guys, so this is the knife right here. This is a white knuckler uh, knife I got. It is a Oxblood antique holster. Uh, the uh, website says this is an all horn handle, although it does not specify horn from what, just that it is a horn. Uh, it is made in USA, as you can see here. All right, and uh, looking at the knife itself, so this uh, total length of the whole knife is seven inches. It claims that the blade length, sorry about my hands, man. Dirty hands, clean money, right? Hashtag, pay me. Um, so blade length, four inches. Usable blade length, three inches. So from here to here is three inches. Uh, on top of that, it does have this little grip right here. This camera is not gonna focus. Um, this little textured grip, which, I mean, this is usable. I, I mean, I, I have used this knife exactly like this. So this is actually a pretty cool deal. And this steel right here is uh, 440C high carbon stainless steel. It's a really nice blade. I mean, the knife has stayed sharp. I mean, it, it looks cool, but it stays sharp. I've sharpened it a few times with a uh, Benchmade um, knife sharpener. Um, this is, I forgot, go back to this one, this is all domestic leather, that was part of the, uh, made in use of thing I brought up before. This also has this, uh, little brass, uh, hole here for a, a lanyard as well. Aside from all the, uh, I guess, specifications of this, the, uh, the reason I bought this knife is because you know the website is real trucker friendly it has trucker blankets trucker hats uh trucker vest it's you know it's a long haul truck i think everything says that it was designed with truckers bikers and uh, basically people that sit on their ass all day and what would be comfortable this holster is a or sheath i mean is um i considered a convertible because it is uh you can carry it like a scout carry like through here you can carry it as a scout carry or you can carry it uh, vertically through this loop right here sorry guys I'm trying to like hold this camera that's on a tripod so you have to excuse my poor camera camera skills right now um, now me personally the way I, I tend to carry most of my knives is through Scout carry. I like scout carry. I think that's part of the reason why they said this is good for truckers. I think a lot of people that drive like scout carry mainly because it's not poking at your leg while you drive. So on this knife, I prefer to drive, or I prefer to, um, yeah, prefer to drive with scout carry. Now it is comfortable when I do that. Okay, um, but let me show you the problem here. Okay, so the problem I run into with the whole scout carry thing is you know this right here i don't know if you can see that all this little tearing of it because basically what happens is you got the knife sitting in here right sitting in you're driving along whatever you have to adjust yourself while you drive or you know whatever i don't know you're getting that in and out of the truck hitting the seat however you're doing it and you're just pushing it all right little bit so it's, now you're carrying it behind your back Scott carry and this gets pushed it's not like you're just purposely pushing the crap out of this thing it's just that it accidentally happens throughout the day now like I said I've had this for over a year so throughout that time I've accidentally you know set in my seat press this in like this and you get this issue going on right here with this uh, you can see that come on focus on it so that's the problem that's the problem you get and um it just kind of sucks there's no way around it i mean every kydex sheath i've had you know i assume the same thing happens i assume i bang the 
into the knife on the seed or whatever, but it's kydex, it doesn't break. I've had this uh, same issue with another uh, knife I had, a silver stag knife. I posted a, a video of that too. I love that knife. I like that knife just as much as this. That sheath is a, a bit cracker. This, this sheath, I will admit, lasted a good time before this happened. But the one thing I have noticed with other uh, knives that I have made videos about is that when you carry it vertically, that, that never happens. It's never an issue. And that probably would have happened with this knife had I carried it vertically. But the reason I don't carry it vertically is because for comfort, you know, comfort, Scout carries comfort away. I know it seems like it wouldn't be comfortable to have a knife behind your back the whole day you're driving, but for me it is. I mean, it, it just works. But for me, Kydex is, you can't, you can't beat it in terms of, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't tear. So that's one issue. All right, so other than that, the knife's great. I mean, it's sharp as hell. Uh, I, I carry it from time to time uh, still. I, I wish I just had a different sh uh, sheath for it. I think the knife itself is great. I think, you know, the steel holds up. I think it's sharp. It sharpens easy. It's not, uh, you know, after a while sometimes it's, it seems thinner or crappier or kind of chipped away or whatever. This so far seems to be pretty good. Um, even the quality of the sheath, I think, is really nice. I just think that, you know, over time of just, you know, leather can only take so much abuse, you know. It's just, it's, you know, it's just stitch. You know, you can just tear through those threads like that. So, um, I mean, overall, I think the quality is really good. I think the knife is really good. It's just, you know, it's a shame uh, how that works, but I don't think there's a way around it. So, I mean, other than that, you know, I'm not posting videos of me stabbing uh, an animal and gutting it or filleting something or breaking it, a tree with cutting bark, whatever. Um, I don't know how to break a tree with a knife, I don't know what I'm saying, but I mean, you just have to take my word for it uh, over the quality of the steel and what I've used it on. I mean, I use this, I use this knife every day for at least a year. Uh, as an over-the-road trucker. I mean, this is a, I bought this because it's super trucker friendly. I was over-the-road trucker. I did flatbed work, cutting all kinds of things, you know, straps that are half cut, cut the strap clean off, no issues. I've used it on all kinds of things. I've used it on, you know, real thin pieces of metal. I've used it on wood. Uh, you know, everything under the sun I've cut with it and it's worked great. So in terms of steel, it's right on, all right on the money, man. It's really good. But uh, again, with the sheath, that's my main issue. So that's all I got for you today. Just a quick knife review on the white knuckler. Uh, would I buy this knife again? Absolutely, if it had another sheath. So that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.